Hey everyone, and welcome to my Word Connections explainer video. Word Connections is a new activity that I've just been trying out in my classroom, and I've had a lot of success with it. So here's how it works. Word Connections is a brain teaser. It's a puzzle that puts together two words. Your job is to figure out what word connects the two. For example, if I said sun and ice. You have to think what word connects sun with ice. The answer? Cream. Ice cream and sun cream. You get it? I use this activity with great success in my English as a foreign language classroom. This activity and others like it really help my students form the connections and the associations between words that they might not otherwise think match up. This really helps to boost their vocabulary as well as their creativity. It helps them turn information into knowledge. Now of course, not everybody is ready for this type of activity on the very first try. So when you introduce this activity, I suggest that you give students a word bank, something like this that illustrates all of the answers that are on the paper. I tried to draw these in as neutral a way as possible so as not to give too much of a hint as to the final answer. Just a little bit of help, but not too much. So let's give it a try. Listen, look at the two words, and guess the connection between them. What's the connection between apple and family. Here's a hint. You might find this in a park. What's the connection between shirt and ball? Here's a hint. It's a letter of the alphabet. What's the connection between fighter and works? Here's a hint. It is not cold. It is red hot. What's the connection between candle and party? Here's a hint. Happy. What's the connection between dragon and butter? Here's a hint. Look in the sky. What's the connection between I and sun? Hint, their designer. What's the connection between wing and leg? Here's a hint, it's delicious. What's the connection between man and web? Your hint is eight legs. What's the connection between hot and milk? Here's your hint. It's a bean. What's the connection between case and sharpener? Your hint is number two. What's the connection between house and angry. Your hint is Twitter. What's the connection between baby and fin? The hint is Jaws. What's the connection between paint and hair? Your hint is Tooth. What's the connection between fish and wars? Your hint is twinkle. What's the connection between boy and milk? Your hint is old MacDonald. What's the connection between Justice League and camera? 
Your hint is fast. What's the connection between plane and port? Your hint is CO2. What's the connection between work and run? Your hint is go. What's the connection between school and stop? Your hint is ride. What's the connection between mate and room? Your hint is study. Okay, now that you're all finished, let's stop. Take a minute and check your answers. When you're ready to go, let's see if you're correct. The connection between apple and family is tree. The connection between shirt and ball is T. The connection between fighter and works is fire. The connection between candle and party is birthday. The connection between dragon and butter is fly. The connection between eye and sun is glasses. The connection between wing and leg is my favorite, chicken. The connection between man and web is spider. The connection between milk and hot is chocolate. The connection between case and sharpener is pencil. The connection between house and angry is bird. The connection between baby and fin is shark. The connection between paint and hair is brush. The connection between fish and wars is star. The connection between boy and milk is cow. The connection between Justice League and camera is flash. The connection between plane and port is air. The connection between work and run is home. The connection between school and stop is bus. And finally, the connection between mate and room is class. So, now that you have your score, how did you do? Better than you thought? Worse? Was it more fun than you expected? What would you change about this activity? What would you do different? What might you add to it? If you have any ideas that you'd like to share with me, please feel free. As you've seen, and can probably imagine, the number of connections between words is almost limitless. It's really about your creativity and your imagination. So, if you come up with any good ones, please feel free to share them with me. Because the more that you share, the more that we all learn. Thanks for listening, and see you again next time.